I am Dr. Hiranappa B. Udnur, specialist in pulmonology and sleep medicine and critical care and I practice at Inspire Speciality Clinic, Sakar Nagar, Bangalore. We know lung cancer but we, once you confirm the diagnosis, we don't know the causes. There are risk factors, like smoking is the biggest risk factor that might be a cause and genetic history and environmental exposure and we really don't know pinpoint what exactly is the cause. Sometimes they say exposure to asbestosis is a risk factor for lung cancer. So people, uh, people who are exposed to asbestos, even a trivial amount of exposure, that's a risk factor. Okay, we normally don't know what exactly is the cause, but uh, once you diagnose the cancer and uh, uh, we need to treat that now. So the other causes for the scar-like looking like lesions are some non-malignant lesions are there. If there is a old pneumonia, old tuberculosis, it looks like that. Normally when you look at a history and compare it, we don't do any biopsy for it. But sometimes after doing the, we suspect lung cancer and do a biopsy, we get it as tuberculosis, we treat it accordingly with the tubercular medication. We get it as fungal and if they have a risk factors like uh, host, uh, immunosuppressed host or anything is there, if it is a fungal infection, we treat with antifungals. That's the, so the, the treatment depends on what is the diagnosis based on the biopsy and how do you manage it and based on the uh, diagnosis. So we are looking at a lung cancer too and there are different stages of lung cancer. Once you confirm the diagnosis, the different modality treatments are there. It's a, usually the multi-modality treatment. So then we diagnose it and we stage it, whether it's an early stage or it's a late stage. So based on the stages, uh, it can be surgery, chemotherapy or radiotherapy. If it is very, very, very early stage and there is no spread of the disease anywhere that we can assess by a biochemical testing or we do PET scan and there is no mediastinal nodes involved and there is no metastasis anywhere in the liver, abdomen, bones, everywhere. We, can, we have a tools for it. And once it is very small, then we go for a surgical resection which has a curative potential means you have a complete cure for lung cancer so you may not require chemotherapy or radiotherapy later so if the size criteria is very large sometimes mediastinum is involved so they do a mediastinoscopy or assess if there is already spread to the mediastinum based on the stage goes up as the stage goes up the prognosis will become weaker okay means the survival chances become lesser and lesser so based on in stage two up to stage one stage two it is surgery so more than stage 2, stage 3 based on the performance score means if the patient is young and he doesn't have any comorbidities and he is mobile ambulatory, he can tolerate the chemotherapy based on his performance states, then we offer them chemotherapy drugs and, and there are new modalities like targeted therapy or a biological therapy and if the biopsy is done, they do a immunohistochemistry and this, these drugs have wonderful results, 3 to 4 years survival uh, chances is there. And uh, so lung cancer treatment, more of this immunotherapy and other things are coming up into picture. It can change the prognosis and the treatment modalities. So it will be treated like a disease like diabetes and hypertension. So if it is really advanced uh, and if mediastinum, we offer radiotherapy, if it is not amenable for surgery, radiotherapy centers are there, they give in the sessions and there are side effects for radiotherapy and side effects of chemotherapies are there. That's how we manage. So we will be able to, if you are not able to cure and treat it, and it's usually palliative and end of life care we advise. So usually when the patient comes walking, it's usually in a stage two, stage three and we assess them properly and treat it.